Greetings loners and welcome to Loner's Guide to Ark Survival Evolved. In this short video I'm wanting to cover something that I accidentally left out of my last video. And that was a segment where I had looked into crafting with the beaver. Let's check out its... Nothing special. How, how are we supposed to use it for, for crafting? Oh, well, would you look at this? So, I think that's that's a pretty important thing. So, I at least wanted to make an addendum video to cover that, it's, as it is a very important feature and potentially useful feature of castroids. So, instead of adding that in now, I'm just gonna look at it. Now, you see in his inventory, you see all these different things we can make: fur armor. Chitin, metal. These are things that would normally require a smithy to make. So basically, the beaver uh, is a replacement or substitute for a smithy. I'm going to up his melee damage a little, or her melee, da melee damage a little. So, I think that's a pretty cool feature. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to... What I, I want to make an honest saddle. If you've watched my last video, I cheated this one in. So, I want to use the beaver to make its own saddle. Do we, uh, there we go. i got some there. I, need, I think we need, like, looking at the wiki, I think I need, like, a hundred... Yeah, hundred... So... There we go. Alright, and some thatch. That's probably, probably a bunch of hide. Bunch of hide, I'll have to look at it. Yeah, so I thought it would be cool to make let the beaver make his own saddle. Right? Uh, I hope I can have everything. I don't think I have enough. Oh, yeah, that's right. He, he harvested quite a bit of thatch. I think we need a couple hundred, if I recall. Some fiber, hundred fiber. Um, let's see if we have it. Saddles. This Gallimimus saddle. Okay. Uh, mammoth. Saber tooth. X. Castoids. Oh, I haven't earned learned engram. That's why. Okay, I have to learn engram. This is a actually potentially very useful animal. I think uh, harvesting wood is is not fun unless you have something really useful to do it. My mammoth's okay. Okay, I'm gonna just search beaver. No, then a castoids. Oh my goodness, 50 points? It's going to take almost all my engram points. Tell you what, guys. Mind wipe's coming. Nope. Okay, I learned it. So, right, so now I'm go back to Castroids. It's funny every time I say his name. I feel like I'm saying hemorrhoids or something. Uh, we are lacking... Oh, cementing paste. We should have plenty of that still. Just bring my toad down here. One of them. We have enough. Oh, we have enough spinning paste. Oh, yeah, we got that. I don't remember how much, so this should be enough. Back to saddles. Castoroid saddle. We are making it with castoids. You know, it sounds an awful like when you make it at a smithy. 
Where's your little hammer? I was hoping it makes some kind of like gnawing sound or something while I was making the saddle. So I'm going to replace that saddle. I'm going to drop this one. Bye bye, cheated in saddle. Now we have an honest saddle. You feel better about the saddle now? Like it's a righteous saddle? So that's it, folks. Again, just a short video. Uh, just to showcase Castoroids crafting utility. I don't know. I like it. I want to really buff up the melee and, and see just how well this thing can harvest. I think it's going to blow everything else away if we would. And, you know, it does a pretty good on, job with thatch on those swamp, those mangrove-like swamp trees down there. Although, from those, just to recap, I didn't get any magic mushrooms at all until I went to those larger cypress type. But that's another video. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, folks. Hope you found it somewhat entertaining and informative. Uh, please mash that thumbs up button if you liked it at all. And if you're not subscribed, get subscribed because those loners got to stick together. Take care.